Good morning. So, I only made a video saying Dustin is a liar and I called him out on his bullshit. And I can see in the video, <coughs> there's my proof. Now, the video had no sound on it, but uh, you saw my finger pointing it at a light, correct? The light that he said that when he said he had no power in his house, the light was floating on. I showed you in the video. I put it to the light. I put it to the clock. I put it to the other lights in the background that were supposed to be off, but were clearly on. <clears throat> then I showed you his messages saying, "Oh, I'm not nice to anyone." So you can clearly see me pointing to his messages saying, "But you are nice to your subscribers and comments." You're nice to everyone but me. That's what I'm trying. To, that was the point I was trying to make it across in the video. Now, of course, the sound didn't work on the phone, and I, I assumed the sound was on. <clears throat> oh, when I made the video, the sound was not on, and my phone is an old phone, so whenever I, I upload something uh, on my phone to YouTube, the sound is never on, or the sound's not up. Or the sound was muted on the camera, but clearly, when I made the recording, the sound was on because I played it back and I did a testing to make sure the video was recording properly, but it wasn't. So the, vi the video that's recently up there, <coughs> was called "Proof That Justin Is Not What He Says He Is." Now, I had to go through about four or five different videos to, you know, get the point across. But the point is made. Me and Justin are no longer friends. And that's clearly on him. And his stupid little lap dog biting me in the fucking legs all the time. Telling me, he keeps telling me things like, oh, look, I want us to be friends, but I really want us, I want us to work down. And I'm like, dude, I'm not talking to you. This is not your channel. You are not Sorrow Spider. You're just this little bitch. I don't speak talk, so if you want to tell me something, be a man and tell me something. Because you do only thing where you tell me something and then you be a dick afterwards. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you being telling me you want a peace between us and you want us to be friends and then be a dick about it, you kind of like Harvey Dent in right there. You're kind of a two face. You say one thing, but you make yourself completely. Evil. I mean. Did you go to the school of hard knocks with Dustin? Hmm. Hey Dustin, what are we doing today? Um, well if you want to become like me, you gotta be able to be two-faced and a dick. In other words, be nice to someone, but then behind the back talk shit about me. I know for a fact that you and Dustin were talking shit about me in the comment section, because I went back into the video in your comment section, and I would word, and I read word, and I read word for word what you said to me. Word for word. George, can you help me? Sure, Angel, what's going on? I need help with Altino. Can you go to his channel and, and you know, straighten him up for me? Yeah, sure, Angel, no problem. Thanks. Wink, wink, smiley face. So I came back into the comment. I came back into the comment session. And I said, oh, that's nice. That's real nice, Dustin. You and your mate talking shit about me on your channel, behind my back. When we were role playing that day. Nice. You tried to find me. I didn't mean to. You, you specifically told them the channel that, that you wanted them to keep meet up. You specifically told them the 8th video, my channel, 8th video down. So then he came into the chat, chat room and ruined our fun. And I thought to myself, I didn't invite this guy to my chat room. Why is he here? Why is he all of a sudden showing up and being the hero? I don't know. Strike one. Strike two, being Dustin's little bitch and kiss ass. That's strike two. Strike three, putting his nose again where it does not belong. George, you struck out, my friend. You struck out with me. I told you if you stay out of my business and keep and keep out between me and Justin's business, you'll be fine. But you decide to be a dick and go, I'm gonna play the hero. I'm gonna be the little good little lap duck that I am and go, oh no, is Angel Dust getting in trouble by this guy? 
I'll take care of it like a goddamn bouncer that you are. You sick of me, man. Go to your channel, do your plane thing, because that's all you talk about is planes, and do your thing, yeah? I leave me and the big boys, like me and Dustin, to talk for two seconds without interrupting me every two seconds and getting involved. <clears throat> you do your thing and I'll do my thing, because on my queue, I don't just talk about planes. My games channel has video games, let's talks, I tell stories to people, I do voices, I play zombie games, I've done face reveals, sometimes I do face reveals and you hear my voice, <clears throat> I make characters up, but you, all you this Dustin did was put me down at every single corner, Dustin, you a piece of crap, and your friend's a piece of crap for putting me down when you're not around. And he's still talking to me now, saying, Oh, you need to leave Angel Dust alone. I don't. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Something such a smart ass. That's not the real Angel. If you had a half a brain, you'd know that was a. Dustin acting and role playing as Angel. You and you and Valentino are the two meanest people in the in the chat room. Again, Valentino and Angel are characters from Handsome Hotel. You'd know that if you were smart, but you're not smart because you're too busy making your playing videos, like you make some pretty playing videos over and over again. I've seen you the channel, nothing but playing videos. I'm like, oh, playing video. Oh, it's another playing video. Oh, so how to act, how to fly the plane. How does the plane click off the ground? How does the plane work? How do the wings work? How to videos of planes, how interesting. Fucking yawn. <laughs> God almighty, man. You know who Dustin really reminds me of? Logan Paul. He talks a lot of shit about people as well. And he thinks to himself, oh, if I talk shit about people, no one's gonna call me on my bullshit. And then he tries to apologize and that's all cool saying I'm that he's sorry. But then at the end when we go back to talking to each other, it it's right back to being an asshole. Lesson one oh one with with Dustin. Always be an asshole when you least expect it. So I said to him in his last messages, I said, Listen, you know Lauren, you have friends and you have everyone that cares about you. No reaction. None. So, his friend Angel just said exactly what I just said? Oh, thanks Angel Dust. You're so nice to me. I liked the comment and I thought to myself, Wait a second, I just said that word for word. I say word for word and Dust ignores me. He's been doing that for a while now. He's been doing that for the past few days. When I said to him, I didn't want to roleplay. Fine. I didn't say for you to stop fucking talking to me, Dustin. There's a big difference. Then you tell me I want. Oh, you don't want to talk to me, but you like talking shit about me. That's funny. I don't talk shit about you, Dustin. Unless you talk shit about me first. I'm defending myself from you because you're a bully. You and your friend are a bully to me. Your friend George is just. He's the two-faced, and I, I can't stand him. Like I said before, I was only nice to George because of you. Otherwise, I won't be fucking bothering with him right now. And he's still sending me messages on my video saying, Oh, you better watch your back. I'm also going to take my plane and I'm going to blow you up. Because <laughs> you we get it. You like planes. We get it. We get it. It's not fucking funny. It's stupid. You're gonna take a plane and nukes one? Really? Okay. I know where you live, man. I could kick your ass. So, you're gonna come all the way to England when there's a pandemic closed, going around. When the airports are closed and kick my ass. Hmm. Bravo. Great comeback. And then he went, oh, what's COVID 19? What? 
What do you mean? What, co what is COVID-19? Uh, the sickness that's been killing off a lot of people lately. The thing that's going around, the reason why we have, we have to wear masks and wash our hands. Really? You don't know what that is? Do you even read or watch the news lately? Or are you just living your own little hole and go, I wonder what, what the world's like today, folks. God damn, man. George, come on. Put your head out of your ass and go realize Ooh, this is bad. Justin, if you don't want to be friends, that's fine, but don't get your little lap dog in my business and have him be so goddamn nosy. Go spying and fight me yourself. You have a problem with me, you come to me mad to mine, and you tell me in a conversation that you have a problem with me. You tell me that you're sorry, but then saying not sorry and then leaving, it's not an apology. It's a two-faced apology. You're supposed to say, I'm sorry, I want us to talk, I want us to hang out and talk to each other, I want us to roleplay a game. I promise I will never be mean to you again. I'll try and be nice. And you can't even do that. The fact that you say you're going to try and be nice is st stupid. Because you say you're going to try, but then you're back to being an asshole. You say you're going to hang out, hang out with me, but you make me three weeks before you even have, before we even have a chance to hang out. You say you're there for me, and you make me wait three days for a message. Three days. That's the time I can't get back, Dustin. The fact you made me wait three days for a message is ridiculous. Lee Autumn sends me a message every single day, and if she's been there for me every single day. Since she first watched my channel, she's been there for me every single day, Dustin. There's times that you're not even around me anymore. And when you are, it's you're always in character, and you're always a jerk. You're not Logan Paul. Stop putting on a show for your views, man. Just talk to me like a friend. I've been a friend to you for this past three weeks. The only reason we started fighting and arguing is because you were mean to me. Maybe, just maybe, if you were just a tad bit nicer to me in the last few videos, maybe this could have all blown over. But you know what happens when we fight, Dustin? We fight, we argue. One of us has to apologize, and we start all over again with the fighting. So you said, oh, oh, I don't want to fight and argue with, him, with you anymore if it upsets you. Then just apologize! Just apologize for all the mean comments that you left in my comment section. Just apologize to me. Just apologize for your friend being such a two-faced bully with me, and I'll be fine with it. Don't ignore me when I, when I send you a comment. Don't ignore me when I send you a message. Don't be in character with me and act like a jerk saying I don't know how to show me feelings and emotion because like I said, you do. The comment sections are there and the comment sections don't lie. You can't edit anything in the comment sections to make it look like you weren't nice to them. Look at Angel, you nice to him. Look at George, you nice to him. Look at our star original, you nice to him. Look at the king. I don't know his name, but he he has a crush on Blitzy. You nice to him. Spider Man, you nice to him. GX forty two, whatever his name is, you nice to him. But when I come on your channel, I leave a comment, he don't even acknowledge that I'm there. I'll tell you who shows respect and acknowledges that I'm there. Angel. That kid is a great role playing. He's got great skills, man. He's role playing. He's on par, and it's awesome. I like, I like actually having him around as a friend. He's such a cool guy. But you, Dustin, are just mean. And it's every single time for the past four weeks that you've been mean to me. When we first started talking to each other, when we first met, like I said, you were a cool guy, but then you just dropped the ball somewhere down the line. 
you just drop the ball. And you say things like, I'm not looking for a relationship or to get married with you. If that's what you're looking for. I said, I, said, I know. I never said I wanted to get married to you or have a relationship. I said I wanted a friendship. Friend. I never said relationship. You put words in my mouth that I never even said in my video. But you haven't shown me any respect and you haven't been nice to me for the past few weeks, man. There's been times that I have to wait for you to come back and you, you don't reply. I said, okay, wait here an hour. Three days later and I'm still fucking waiting on, the, on my phone waiting for you to reply to me. Three days after you said an hour. That's that's not three days is not an hour. An hour is an hour. That's an hour, not three days, not a month and not a year. An hour, sixty minutes. Sixty minutes goes like that, Dustin. If you wanted to upload your videos, fine. If you had some chores to do, fine. You just tell me in the comment section, listen, I'm going to be at least three hours because I've got some stuff to do. I've got videos to upload. Fine. Then you tell me things like, oh, i got to go work. But you clearly, you can see him upload his videos. He, he did three or four videos in one day. That's not work. And not many people work because of this COVID-19 going around. And you acted like you didn't know what the hell COVID-19 is. So I had to fucking spell it out for you. Oh, oh yeah, COVID-19. Yeah, I've heard of that now. My bad. So, Dustin, you want to talk to me? Me alone. Don't bring your little pet dog in to defend yourself. Because that's a coward's way out. You killed that little dog, George, to mind his little business. And keep out of our business and we're good and i'm not gonna apologize to george because he's so two-faced or say things like oh dude i just want to be your friend and they'd be like oh well there's a song coming yeah you're damn right it's a song coming because this is a fight i'm gonna win and that you george are going